GE Energy Financial Services, my business, is a, the investment arm of GE for all its energy investment activities. It requires um, ideas, it requires um, uh, solutions that we can provide to customers, and we weren't getting it at the level that we wanted to in our old space. And we tried using more conventional tools like reorganizing and changing whether we were organized by segments or organized by industries or organized by geographies. And we never got really at the collaboration we wanted until we had a chance to redesign our space. It was interesting because in the previous building we were in, the Amaris, as you remember, that was uh, set up about 15 years or so ago. And uh, at that point in time, it was very much closed offices. People work in silos and on their own and with new both modern technology, but also the way we do deals today, much more focused around working in teams and working in you know, groups, either small or larger groups. And that space didn't really work as well for us uh, in a collaborative uh, environment. Correct. It was it was not conducive to the work environment. For instance, you'd probably take you a very long period of time to actually just go and talk to someone as opposed to just walking out and, and collaborating. So remember, you didn't really see people out in no, the corridors. Absolutely. I mean, unless people were walking to a conference room, you didn't bump into people, you didn't have casual conversations the way you do if you were out somewhere else. What we were dealing with originally was not only a 95% office work environment, but it was a building that was a donut shaped. Everybody had a window, it had a central atrium, but it was very long. You had to travel almost a half a mile to get around the building. Clearly didn't support what they needed to do in terms of collaboration, the meetings that took place. They didn't have enough meeting space. So there's a series of issues that prevented them from being a high performance work environment. One of the other challenges that we had was that we were moving from a larger piece of real estate to a smaller footprint. We had to compress the number of people we had per square foot uh, when we moved from our old building to this new, new facility. And that is a unique challenge in itself. Going open plan was the only way you could make it happen. This project was a, a fast track project and one of the key, key components of the project was that we had the applied research consultant team come out initially to help us form the vision for the project. And as we, we, we said, it was great to get some consultants who actually done this before to work with our teams to create some of these, uh, these solutions. It, they and took us through a really um, interesting process and they really helped us see what was working, what wasn't working, and yeah. what the key, uh, key principles for making it su successful. So it was very interesting to see what these teams came up with, just using scissors, paper, clay, some very interesting dynamics. And what, the, what they did at the end was that they displayed them all out in the hallways. Some of those clip art um, uh, constructions that the teams did actually doesn't, don't look that different than some of, the, some of the actual design that came, the way it came out. What they did is they made them aware of the work environment, made them aware of how they currently operated. We walked through the space, they took pictures, they began to get engaged in a design process themselves. Uh, and it was really creating an awareness so that as we began to move toward a new workplace dynamic, they became partners in that and began to work with us. What we did was we had to compress space overall relative to person on a, on a net usable basis, but give them a better work environment. So part of the transitioning from a heavy office environment to an open plan allowed us to do a couple things. One, we were able to shrink the square footage per person overall, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 square foot per person, over 400 people in the space. And then it allowed us to provide all the important areas, the conferencing, the touchdown spaces, central meeting areas, large pick facilities, and other uh, support amenities that they had uh, throughout the space, so that ultimately we really had a, a dynamic work environment in less square footage, uh, which obviously uh, speaks directly to the real estate issues that everybody is facing. These are two great workspaces. One's the impromptu casual space. People can come up, just have an ongoing conversation. The other are our central meeting spaces. These are four to six person meeting rooms that are not scheduled. You can come up, sit down, have a meeting, have a conference call outside of your workstation environment. Here we are in the open plan area. As you can see, a high performance work environment. We have some of the eight by eights here. And these are some of the executive spaces on the corner, the 8x12s where impromptu meetings are currently taking place. To my left, which faces directly out on that, is the Nautilus. The Nautilus, you can see, is uh, surrounded by a lot of glass. We have the common team area here where 
meetings take place on an impromptu basis. So for many one of these pods, people can move to all support services each direction, and our research to date shows that that's been working very well. People are moving and utilizing different work settings throughout the day. We've seen uh, real results in, in terms of how people work in this new space, and we see the productivity, and we see it both because people are, are working more closely together, uh, they're meeting faster on, on uh, specific issues they have to solve. The whole, the whole place feels much more energetic than it used to be. There's a lot more energy and also because it's open plan, um, you see a lot of the leaders walking around. We're getting so much more collaboration across the teams that no longer do I have to spend my time thinking about how to connect people, they're connecting and they're coming to me with ideas that result from that connection and those ideas are providing better solutions to our customers.